So let's start by talking in this lecture about digital media and digital marketing. Digital communications offers a completely new dimension to connecting with others. Um, some of those characteristics that distinguish it are interactivity, accessibility, connectivity, uh, addressability. Um, these terms will be discussed in, in individually. Um, addressability, that's the ability to find and identify specific customers so that you can get to them and get your message to them. Interactivity allows you not only to push a message to them, but to interact and get responses from them in marketing communications. Accessibility is the ability to uh, get all sorts of information by consumers. A consumer can pull information from the marketer. So it's sort of the, uh, the complement of addressability. We also have um, connectivity. Uh, connectivity is the ability for consumers to be fully connected. Even during the use of their product, they can be connected with uh, with the marketers, the companies that provide the product and services. So rather than it being a transaction, it becomes more of a relationship. And then control. Consumers have the ability to regulate what information they get, how they view it. They could also compare it with other information that might be available on the internet as well. This, the phenomenal growth of this digital media uh, provides new ways of conducting business. Just uh, a few examples of this. You know, given the almost instant communications that, uh, that we can have with precisely defined consumer groups, firms can use real-time exchanges, so webinars, to create and stimulate interactive communication. They can forge closer relationships, learn more accurately about their consumers and their buyers and their consumer needs and their suppliers and their suppliers' needs. Because it's fast and inexpensive, digital communications uh, makes it easier for businesses to conduct market research, provides easy access to obtain price and product information to advertise. It also fulfills their business goals by selling goods and services online. Um, the reality, however, is that internet markets are more similar to traditional markets than they are really different. Thus, the successful digital digital marketing strategies like traditional business strategies focusing on focus on creating products that consumers need and want not merely developing a brand name and reducing the costs associated with the online transactions there's still this idea of having to to find out what the customer wants and providing them that good or service because the internet lowers the cost of communication it can contribute significantly to any industry or activity that depends upon the flow of digital information such as entertainment healthcare, government services education computer services like software development digital media anything that can improve communications within a business um, in the future most significant gains that come from productivity improvements in businesses are likely to come from e-business applications. Communication is a key business function and improving the speed and clarity of communication can help businesses save time and improve their uh, the problem solving that they're in that their employees are engaged in and their abilities to do that. While some digital media and digital marketing share similarities with conventional techniques, there are some differences that stand out which we'll talk about here. First, digital media makes customers' communications faster and interactive. And second, digital media helps customers reach very specific target markets easily and affordably and quickly, more quickly than ever before. That is, identifying them and reaching them more quickly than perhaps even finding them in the past. Finally, digital media can help marketers utilize resources in seeking out and communicating with their customers. One aspect of marketing that has not changed with digital media, again, is the importance of achieving the right marketing mix, the mix of product, distribution, promotion, pricing. Uh, all of these remain important, as important even for a successful online marketing strategy as they were for traditional strategy. And we'll go into each of those areas a little bit later in this module. But one of the most important things is the, the digital marketing is the ability of marketer, marketing, marketers and 
customers to easily share information back and forth. Customer needs and demands, questions, marketers, pitches on what their business does, their information about make, creating awareness, and they're trying to close sales, etc. Many marketers use email, mobile phones, social networking, wikis, video sharing, podcasts, blogs, video conferencing, and other technologies to coordinate activities and communicate with employees, customers, and suppliers. So in the next uh, lecture in this uh, module, we'll go into the marketing mix in the digital age and how that, uh, how one goes about thinking about marketing from the perspective of tradi more traditional marketing strategies, the marketing mix. We'll do that in the next lecture.